2pm tuning TV. Um, we've moved the uh, GTS now into the prep area because obviously we didn't want the uh, background noise to be an issue. Um, as you can see we've been busy doing some work on the handlebars. Some of you may be already guessing what that is going to entail. Um, to let the cat out of the bag basically this is going to be a Rothmans tribute to our old 1987, I think it was, no, 1983 machine. The Rothmans uh, replica, as some of you may remember, was a, a Vespa PX200E with an up and over exhaust system. It had uh, direct air cooling at the time. It was quite radical in, 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 its, uh, in its presence. Uh, it was one of the bikes that was instrumental for one of the street racer scenes here in the UK back in the early 80s. Uh, this machine is a tribute to celebrate the 33 years that that machine was created. Um, so we're going to do something special with this machine. This machine is going to have a, a Rothmans replica paint job on it. Um, we're also going to uh, fit a two-stroke engine. <laughs> now, I don't think anybody's ever done this before on a Vespa GTS. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I have seen some YouTube videos of uh, an ET4, I think some guy in America had done one, but to my knowledge, I don't think we've seen a Vespa GTS 300 with a two-stroke engine. But please, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so the machine is here in the prep area, like I said, where we can not have too much background noise going on. As you can see, we have inclined the bars to a nice crop level. Now, this is going to have the original headset cowling, very similar to the rough one. So we've got the original headset with the original, with the original clocks. Possibly, we may even create our own set of clocks. It will use the original headlight. You know, keep the aesthetics of this machine looking true to a GTS. Uh, we're going to do some reshaping here, maybe. We're going to slim out the leg shields, take them tapered, something like this down here, um, just to give it a sleeker profile from the front. Um, the exhaust system is going to have. An up and over system, again true to the Rothmans. Um, we're going to take the system, we're going to remove the fuel tank from inside here. We're going to take the expansion chamber, which will we'll do a new development for that. Uh, so we'll get a nice bulge of the two stroke expansion chamber coming through the side panel here. Uh, this will be covered in the Rothmans style mesh, which we created back then. This will sort of kind of taper out like this. We'll have a big slot in the back to allow for suspension movement and we'll have the muffler poking out of the back here. Uh, we'll be running one of our uh, exhaust systems based on the PM59 development obviously designed to come up and over the engine. Um, we'll run the T-Sab obviously in the two-stroke water-cooled engine so it'll have a Jalera runner two-stroke engine maybe get that up to about 36 horsepower for road use. Uh, we'll get rid of this backlight and do what we did on the uh, Vespa say join here you can have a look at that on our YouTube channel or pop onto Sluck and have a look at the feature Iggy did on that. Um, so we're going to be removing quite a lot of weight from this machine which is going to have a, you know, a much higher power to weight ratio so it's going to be a lot livelier. Um, one or two other things we're looking at doing is removing this toolbox, quite big and clumsy that. Um, look at removing that and maybe placing the radiators in a different location. It will of course have either race suspension, uh, upgraded disc brakes, probably use Brembo calipers on this. Um, possibly toying with the idea of bagging this machine. Now some of you might be familiar with that term. Bagging basically means airbags on the suspension which means we'll create a drop so that the thing gets slammed to the floor. Uh, a little bit of custom um, ideas there going on. Um, we'll probably come up with a cantilever system on the front engine mounting which will allow the machine to squat 
down along with a bag on the front suspension to allow the front to drop a maybe 50 60 mil as well so that's all to come we're going to take out these indicators and maybe do a different horn cover try and get a bit of a throwback to the px style and do something with the mud guard as well um, so lots of plans some there'll be some trick carbon fiber bits some things that we already have in the pm tuning production arsenal which will be these lower trims here um, we play well we, we toyed with the idea of maybe narrowing this back section down taking say a good 60 70 mil out of the back section and creating more of a tapered effect on the back end let us know what you think about that whether you think that's uh, that's a goer or not we just want to make this thing a little bit less bulkier than it currently sits at we'll get rid of these foot pegs yeah, don't need those like I said, we'll, we'll use the original cowlings. There's, there's a lot of fabrication work that's needed to be done on that. We'll, we'll, we'll run a um, timeline camera on that so you can see exactly what we're doing. Um, so don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you want any details on any of the products that we're going to be putting onto us, drop us a line. Uh, have a look at our website, www.pmtuning.co.uk and keep subscribed and don't forget to that notification button to get the updates. Speak okay. to you later. So you can now see what we're trying to aim for here. Uh, we've got a button the dog here. Button! Button's come for a little visit, she wants us to play ball. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Come on, Veggie. Good girl. Anyway, time for that. Uh, back to the angle bars. As you can see, we've got a, a nice shape coming on here. Uh, these bars have been jigged so the angles are exactly the same. Might get a bit of camera, camera distortion showing otherwise, but effectively those bars are absolutely dropped exactly the same. So they look symmetrical. Um, as you can see, we're looking for a blend, something like that. So that would blend nicely from the plastic into the steel bars. Get a bit of a look at that from the back here. Essentially what we're going to do here, we're going to, these will, these will blend now, we'll, we'll use some epoxy to get this edge here and put an epoxy coat over this, this will be stronger than the actual plastic. We'll then do a resin fill and smooth this transition from plastic to steel and, and filler. And a nice overall shape and blend into that. Uh, We've, we've glued these two pieces together because these only need to ever come off as a set. We'll, what we'll do is we'll put a small access hole underneath there so that we can get to this pinch bolt. So if ever we need to remove the headset, all we need to do is effectively is just pop the speedo out, which will be on a, a snug fit, and that will allow us to get to the back of the light, uh, screw the light back in, and access any electrical work that we need to do. So this part will be a one-piece affair, effective like the old uh, Vespa Primavera from bygone days. So I'm going to get a nice blend here, you can see that's shaping up nice. Um, I know what you're going to say, you're going to say are these bars going to be available commercially? Well we may do, just see what sort of response we get from it and how difficult it is to reproduce these, we'll probably have these reproduced in aluminium or something like that. Let us know if that's something you'd be interested in. If so, drop a comment down below and uh, look into that. The more comments we get, obviously, on this. If you want to set drop angle bars like this, obviously, we'll look into doing that for you. But if you wait for a few more sessions, you'll see how this starts to turn into something quite elegant. So we haven't put too much drop on these. Um, I'll give you the angles later on in the next video. Uh, these aren't as severe as the Rothmans. These are a lot more upright. Um, there's going to be a new seat design for this which will effectively stand up. Let's see. So it's sort of stand up about 40 mil in this area here, follow this shape around, and this will come into like a box 
or into a into a following the shape from the top to so come into like an Ancelotti style box section which will drop down and follow the body line so it'll like be an integrated um, shape for want of a better word something that, that's going to follow this body line but still be hinged here at the front so that we can flip, flip the seat up and uh, get access to the to the top of the engine uh, those will be reproduced in fiberglass and carbon fiber for anybody wanting to do the same thing um, I'm going to be losing the petrol fare from here because we're going to take the tank out on this particular model um, on this build should I say because obviously we've got the exhaust going in there so we're not going to need the fuel tank there Keep the timeline video going so you can follow us along this journey. That's where we're up to 